Hey, it's Matty D here talking to you about the Kiss Simple GUI software for Android phones and tablets. It's going to make tuning your PIDs out in the field much easier and much more compact as you won't need to carry a laptop. You're going to need three things. You're going to need an Android phone with the Kiss Simple GUI software on it, which is downloadable from the FlyGuino website. You're going to need a micro USB to micro USB OTG cable. Now this one I bought from Buzz Hobbies for $2.90 Australian, which is $2.20 American at the moment. And you're going to need a KISS flight controller, which is probably going to be in your quadcopter. The biggest difference between the KISS Simple GUI app and the desktop software at the moment is you don't have the TPA, the rates and the ESC flasher tabs. You only have the configuration and the data output. For tuning your PIDs down the field, this is not going to be an issue. Let's show you how to connect it up to your quadcopter now and briefly go through some of the settings that it has. Okay, let's show you how to connect it up to the phone or your tablet. You want to take your OTG cable, place the red end of it into your phone USB port, plug the black end of the cable into your quadcopter. You'll notice that you get the green light on the KISS flight controller and the red blinking light on your receiver showing you that the quadcopter flight controller is being powered by the mobile phone or tablet. Once you've done that, just click connect, press OK, and now you're in the settings. As you notice, this looks like the normal desktop version. You have all your PID settings, including RC rate, rate and RC curve. You have your levels. You have your general settings and your auxiliary settings all available to you from your phone. After you make any changes that you want to do, just click the save in the bottom right corner and they are now saved to your flight controller. From here, I recommend that you disconnect and reconnect to make sure that the settings have saved on your flight controller. You also have data output, which shows you the information from your receiver, from your motors, any other information. You can calibrate your accelerometer. You have your gyro information, so I can move my gyro around on my flight controller and you'll see that it comes up on the gyro settings and the gyro limits. You have the same welcome page as you do on the desktop version, which shows you just where each of the pads connect to. Once you're finished, just push disconnect and that's it. I hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to share it. Like and subscribe to MediD FPV and check out fpvlife.net for more information on FP freestyle, racing, pilots and other new information coming out. Happy flying.